This is a quick video intended for anyone using a GoPro Hero camera who would like to have the ability to control the camera pro tune settings from their cell phone. If you're a GoPro user, you know that a while ago in January of 2021, GoPro took away the ability in their app to control the pro tune settings. If you're upset by that and would like to control them, you can download an app called Camera Tools for Heroes. It does sell for $5.99 at the Google Play Store, but it will allow you to control the Pro Tune settings of your camera. So once you've purchased it, downloaded it, and installed it, you would need to select Open. You can see here on the screen, we have a variety of cameras already pre-configured, and some of them are connected at power on, others are not connecting at power on. I'm going to select the icon, the link icons. And now we have four of these five GoPro, yeah, five of the five GoPro cameras connected. So here we have the seven, eight, nine. Here we have the Fusion and Max. Yes, I am a GoPro addict. I probably will purchase the 10. I should know better because it's gonna do wonderful things and it's going to disappoint me greatly all at the same time. I always kind of tell people, GoPro is a love-hate relationship. Uh, when you buy the camera, the typical GoPro addict, like months after the camera comes out, decides that the camera's wonderful, but it's missing feature A and B, and introduced new problems C and D. And so they're already talking about, well, maybe when the next GoPro, the GoPro 11 comes out, it will fix the problems of the GoPro 10 while introducing certain features that you wished they had. Let's take a look at the ProTune settings. So let's say you don't have any camera installed. So let's go ahead on, let's say the GoPro 9 and disconnect. Let's go ahead and remove the camera so it's not on my list of cameras anymore. So let's say you purchased a brand new GoPro 9 camera and you just purchased this app and you're wanting to install it. Down here is a plus symbol. You would want to select the plus. Look for the camera. This one says it's a GoPro 7995. Then we can see it listed here. We want to hit the red link icon. That causes the camera to connect. If we're unsure which of our GoPro cameras, let's say we had eight cameras sitting on the desk that were powered on and we're unsure which one this is, um, we could go ahead and hit this bell icon right here. When we do that, our GoPro 9 camera is now beeping and blinking. So we know that is the GoPro 9 camera. The next thing I suggest doing is hitting the right arrow key, selecting options. I like to select auto connect on start and update camera when connected, update camera date when connected. And then for the name, change the name to whatever name helps you identify the camera. I'm just going to call this the GoPro 9 because I only have one of them. Select set and then select close. Now under the screen, we can see it says GoPro 9. The Pro Tune settings and all the other camera settings are under the gear icon. Let me move my finger out of the way. It's like right there is the gear icon. So these are all the settings that are available on the GoPro 9. The settings options will change based on camera. But here we can see ProTune, and we have bitrate, shutter, EV comp, ISO min, ISO max, white balance, sharpness, color, raw audio, wind, and media mod. We do have a variety of other settings, which I'll show here. So there are a variety of different settings. Some questions you might have, can you do live preview? You can via this icon right here, which looks like a picture. Whoops, select like that. Your phone might prompt you whether it's okay to connect to the Wi-Fi of the camera or not. So there's our live preview. From the live preview screen, we can hit the record button. So now the camera's recording. Now the live preview, you can see both of my hands are right here, not on the screen. So it just kind of goes to a still image of what was on the screen prior to hitting the live preview. So it does not update the live preview in real time. That's something to be aware of. 
Here we can see the stop icon, so I can actually hit stop from this screen. I could have hit stop from the other screen as well. And go back here. In this app, there's usually multiple ways to do the same kind of task. Um, so here we'd hit record. If I wanted to hit to stop record, I could hit the icon right there, a square. And it would stop the recording. So we are able to do that live preview. Um, there are other shortcuts here on the screen. So for the GoPro 9, this uh, picture, sorry, the camera icon. The camera icon allows you to change the mode from video, photo, or time lapse, and then the sub mode. So when we're in video, the sub mode is these options right here. If we're in time lapse mode, our presets are as indicated here. And again, those values will change from camera to camera. So it does work with the GoPro 7, GoPro 9, GoPro 8, GoPro Fusion, GoPro Max. They list a variety of different other GoPros on their web page. So you want to check out the web page or the app page in the Android store to determine whether your camera is supported by this app or not. Um, in closing, I'd like to mention it's not perfect. They don't always connect on the first attempt. Sometimes you do have to hit the connect icon. Another thing that I noticed just recently is on the GoPro Max camera, when you're in time-lapse mode, there's a variety of different sub-modes, but when you're in video mode, there's only one video mode. So there's no way to toggle in the app from being kind of a standard video to a 360 video. This is right here would be a standard video file where we're just using one lens. If I select this icon here on the camera, it switches it to 360 video mode. So you can see here the preset is 360 video mode. But from here, uh, there's no way for me to then flip it back again. So that's something to be aware of. So that's a quick overview of the app. Again, this app name is called Camera Tools for Heroes. It is for the GoPro series of camera, and I think it's worth it for anyone who wants to use the ProTune settings on their camera. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel.